agriculture backbone of indian economy the word agriculture is derived from two latin words agar meaning land and culture means cultivation agriculture is an economic activity which refers to the cultivation of crops rearing of animals forestry and fishing it was one of the earliest occupations man had learned after food gathering and hunting man practices different types of occupations in different parts of the world generally these occupations are classified into three broad types primary secondary and tertiary types of activities primary activities primary activities involve the extraction and production of resources from land soil forests grasslands etc farming fishing rearing of animals and mining are some of the other examples secondary activities secondary activities deal with the processing of primary goods into finished goods conversion of iron ore into tools and machines sugar cane into sugar cotton into cotton textiles etc are examples of secondary activities tertiary activities tertiary activities refer to the services rendered to the community like trade transport administration banking insurance etc agriculture is a primary occupation which refers to the cultivation of crops fruits vegetables rearing of animals fishing and allied activities it helps us in fulfilling our basic needs like food shelter and clothing it is practiced by different people across the world more than 50% of the population of the world depends on agriculture its practice has undergone a change depending on the physical environment development of technology and the needs and aspirations of the people factors which affect agriculture agriculture depends upon various factors as follows these include the a physical factors like the nature of land soil types and climate b human factors like tools and implements quality of seeds fertilizers means of transport market and policies of the earlier man was so dependent on nature that he used simple tools to cultivate the land to meet his needs later on with the development of technology he developed better quality seeds machine like tractors threshers combine harvesters etc our methods of farming the types of crops we grow the time of sowing 
harvesting tools and implements almost everything has changed types of farming subsistence farming it is a type of farming where crops are grown mainly for the consumption by the farmer himself in this type of farming small fields are cultivated with the help of family members it is further classified into primitive subsistence and intensive subsistence a primitive subsistence consists of shifting cultivation and nomadic herding shifting cultivation is the most primitive type of agriculture practiced by the tribal people living in the tropical forests of south america africa and parts of southeast asian countries in this type of agriculture people clear the forest by cutting and burning the trees before cultivating the land hence it is called slash and burn cultivation or bush and fallow cultivation the ash provides manure to the crops maize and crops like yams and cassava are grown after one or two years once the soil loses its fertility they shift to another piece of land this is called shifting cultivation agriculture shifting cultivation agriculture is known as chuming in india ladang in indonesia milpa in mexico roka in brazil and re in vietnam nomadic herding of animals is prevalent in the arid and semi arid regions of sahara central asia and parts of india like jammu and kashmir and rajasthan people move from place to place with their animals in search of pastures and water supply and are known as nomads seasonal migration of people with their animals is called transhumans some common animals reared by these people are sheep goats camels and yaks they are mainly reared for their milk meat wool and hides and skins mainly for their own needs b intensive subsistence agriculture refers to the maximum use of minimum land in this type of farming crops are grown on small fields with the help of simple tools and human labor crops are grown more than once on the same field to meet the needs of the population this type of farming is prevalent in areas of dense population especially in monsoon countries like india china bangladesh japan etc where it is grown along the river valleys due to favorable climate fertile soil and availability of cheap labor mostly food crops like rice maize pulses and 
oil seeds etc are grown commercial farming in this type of farming crops are grown for sale it is practiced on large fields and most of the farming activities are done by machines commercial farming can be of three types commercial grain farming mixed farming and plantation farming a in commercial grain farming crops are grown for commercial purposes the most important crops are wheat and maize this type of farming is practiced in temperate grasslands of north america europe and asia farms are very large extending over hundreds of hectares and most of the work is done by machines due to severe winters only one crop is grown b in mixed farming the cultivation of crops and rearing of animals is done on the same field this type of farming is practiced in countries of europe eastern united states argentina south eastern parts of australia new zealand and south africa c plantation farming is a commercial type of farming it is described as large scale farming of a single crop and resembles factory production it is both capital intensive and labor intensive type of farming the farm produce is processed in factories located near the plantation efficient means of transport play a vital role in the development of plantations some of the plantation crops are banana tea coffee and rubber plantation farming is practiced in malaysia rubber brazil india and sri lanka d market farming includes the cultivation of vegetables fruits or flowers these are located on the outskirts of urban areas where there is great demand these are perishable items and have to be transported as early as possible in order to earn maximum profit and sales cooperative farming cooperative farming is the type of farming where the farmers pool their resources to buy what they require the produce is then sold through cooperative outlets and the benefits are shared by all the farmers for example the milk cooperative in gujarat major crops we grow a large variety of crops to meet the growing needs of the population some of them are number 1 food crops like rice wheat maize and millets number 2 beverage crops like tea and coffee number 3 fiber crops like cotton and jute number 4 industrial or cash crops like rubber tobacco sugarcane etc food crops rice rice is the most important staple food crop of the tropical 
and subtropical regions and a major food crop of the world. It is a kharif crop which requires a high temperature of above 26 degrees Celsius and a rainfall of more than 100 centimeter. It grows best in alluvial soil with a top clay layer that allows standing water. China is the leading producer of rice in the world, followed by India, Japan, Sri Lanka and Egypt. Wheat Wheat is the second most important food crop next to rice. It is a rabi crop in the temperate regions. Wheat requires moderate temperature of 10 to 15 degrees Celsius and a rainfall of about 50 to 75 centimeter during the growing season and bright sunshine at the time of harvest. It requires a well-drained loamy soil for its growth. Wheat is extensively grown in the temperate grasslands of the United States, Canada, Argentina, Russia, Ukraine and Australia. In India, it is a rabi crop grown in winter. Millets the millets are known as coarse grains as they can be grown in the areas of less fertile soils with low rainfall. They grow in areas of high to moderate temperatures. There are three examples of millets known as ragi, bajra and joa. Some of the leading countries where millets are grown are India, Nigeria and China. Maize Maize is known as corn which is both a feed and a food crop. It requires moderate temperature and rainfall. It grows best in well-drained fertile soils. Major maize producing countries are North America, Brazil, China, Russia, Canada and India. Fiber crops Cotton Cotton is a fiber crop grown in the tropical regions. It requires high temperatures, low rainfall, 210 frost free days and bright sunshine for its growth. Cotton grows best in black and alluvial soils. The major producers of cotton in the world are China, the United States, India, Pakistan, Brazil and Egypt. It provides raw material for the cotton textile industry. Jute. It is known as the golden fiber because of its color. India also earns valuable foreign exchange from the export of jute goods. It requires high temperatures, high rainfall, and alluvial soil for its growth. It is a crop of the tropical regions. The two leading producers of jute in the world are India and Bangladesh. Beverage crops Coffee Coffee is a beverage as well as a plantation crop grown in warm and wet climatic regions having well-drained 
loamy soil. Its cultivation is confined to hill slopes. The major coffee producing countries in the world are Brazil, Colombia and India. Tea. Tea is a beverage as well as a plantation crop. It requires a cool climate with well distributed high rainfall throughout the year for its growth. Hill slopes are preferred for the cultivation of tea as it needs well drained loamy soils. It is a labor intensive industry as leaves have to be picked by hand. The world's major tea producing countries are Kenya, India, China and Sri Lanka. Sugarcane Sugarcane is an important cash crop as its all parts are used. The sugarcane juice is a refreshing drink and the main source of sugar molasses, khansari, vinegar and molasses. The fiber left after the juice is extracted is used by the cardboard, paper and other industries. Sugarcane can be grown on a variety of soils. It requires a humid climate, rainfall of about 75 to 100 cm and a temperature between 22 and 28 degree Celsius. In India, sugarcane grows well in the middle Ganga plains, UP, Bihar, in Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Punjab, Haryana, etc. The leading sugarcane producers in the world are Mexico, India, Australia, West Indies, Southern United States, Brazil, etc. Agricultural Development Agricultural development refers to the concerted efforts made by the government to increase agricultural production to meet the needs of the ever increasing population. Several programs have been introduced to increase the net sown area, the number of crops grown, provision of irrigation use of chemical fertilizers and high yielding varieties of seeds. Introduction of mechanized agriculture is another major step to increase the agricultural productivity. Agricultural development is aimed at providing food security to the people. 